is uh, my screencast voice on? <clears throat> Hello, everybody. This is Lucas Rubelkey with another Angular JS screencast. So my friend, my bro, Mark Tucker hit me up on Twitter the other day, and this is what he had to say, rather what he had to ask. Using ngv and routes, does a controller get created on each route change? Can I use same controller across routes and preserve scope? Well, to answer your question, a controller does get created on each route change. That is the default behavior of ngView, and it is for garbage collection purposes. So for that reason, you cannot use the same controller across routes. But the answer to this problem is actually pretty easy, and it kind of falls under the topic of how do two controllers communicate? Well, they do not directly, but using a service as kind of the go-between, it's really quite simple. So I thought this would be a good time for me to revisit a blog post that I did about a year ago, building a website with AngularJS routes and partials. So consider this the redux of that and we'll just go ahead and call it building a website with AngularJS, routes and partials, end state, and clarifying some of the stupid stuff I did the first time around. So the first thing I would like to point out is in the original post, I actually used ng-click and then the location service to actually manually set the URL to fire off the route change. That's not actually a good thing. Because what it does is it deviates off the expected behavior of your anchor tag. Instead, go ahead and use your href and put the route in there so that your links work as expected. So if you, for instance, alt click, that it'll open in a new tab or do what it is you expect to do. Secondly, is if you're mocking out code, you're just putting out a fiddle or whatever, it's totally fine to put your controller in the global space. But for production, you really need to actually enclose that within the module using the controller service. So what I've actually done is I've just went ahead and pulled the about experiments and home controller into the Angular module that I created, as you can see here. The one gotcha about that is because it's not actually instantiated at that point, you need to do define it as a string and actually not an instant instance object or function. It doesn't exist. So I'm going to go ahead and spill the beans about what exactly we're going to do here today. Is we want to communicate or rather share a piece of information between the controllers when the route changes. We are going to do that by creating a service and basically updating a message back and forth using essentially a getter and a setter. So let's get started in three, two, one, go. So I've created the state service here. And in case anybody is wondering what I just did, I'm using the totally awesome plugin by John Lindquist uh, that he created for kind of the JetBrains family. In this case, I'm using PHP Storm, um, but there's a ton of live template snippets that he put in there that are really fantastic. Um, the one I just did was NGMFA, and what that does is it creates a factory within your module. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a message variable that we're going to kind of pass around here. And we'll say hello message. And then I'm going to create a getter and setter for that. So get message. So far, not doing anything really fancy here. This is, I admit, a, a bit of a contrived. Uh, Kind of scenario that I'm creating to 
kind of convey this point, but I, I think you guys will get the idea here. And also, with that is I really like to use the revealing module pattern when I'm creating my services. It really creates a nice way to define what is private and hide that away and then expose only what you actually want to be available to the outside world. So I'm going to expose the get message function and the set message function. And bam! There we go. So my service is ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is you can see that I have three partials here about.html, experiments.html, and home.html. I am going to put some code in there that will allow us to grab the message variable off of the controller and then uh, basically set it as well. So let's get started with the HTML and then we'll go to the controller and tie this all together. So I'm going to start with just a bit of code here. Let's actually set the message. There was another uh, AngularJS plugin thing right there, NGB, to create two-way data binding. And let's just bind this to message. Oops. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually put some styling on this. You know, this website is, is red, so let's go ahead and make this red as well. And let's go ahead and bind this input, this, uh, input field to uh, this message as well. So when you change it, it changes in both places. And then let's, when somebody clicks this, we want to update the message. So let me just go update message, and we'll just send the message variable in there as a parameter. Okay, so this is pretty good to go. And there's gonna be a lot of kind of code duplication here. If you wanted to extend it, I would actually recommend if you're doing something like this, maybe pull this into a directive so you're not repeating it. But, you know, once again, this is for demonstration purposes only. You know, if you come and you say, look, this is not how I would do it in the real world, you know what? I'm gonna punch you in the neck because that's not the point. Okay. So we got the HTML in. Let's jump over to our controllers here and let's make this service available. So we created a state service. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. Like so. And what I'm going to do, just go down here. Paste this in. And let's go, let's create a variable. Dollar V tab, bam. Let's call this message. And let's go state service, get message. And then let's create the update message function as well. So dollar F tab, bam. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and uh, paste this in here so you guys don't have to watch me uh, type this over and over and over. And what I'm actually going to do as well, just so we know what's happening, I'm going to do a message yo and let's just trace out message okay so let's actually recap what we're doing and then we'll just see this in motion and we'll call it a day so I've created this state service that has a variable called message and it has a get and set message which I have made available using the revealing module pattern it would then I'm injecting it into these controllers and I'm setting the message variable on scope by calling get message on the state service. And then I'm allowing the user to update it by calling scope update message. And I'm passing that message along to the state service to basically store. And what it does is the state service actually holds state 
across the route changes. And then I went into the partials and then I just created a way to do that with this input text ng model that is bound to scope.message and as well as we're displaying it here and then ng click update message and we're passing that in to be passed along to the state service. So let's go ahead and give this a spin. So we'll just refresh this here. You can see the website here. We'll just click through it. You can see that it's just changing uh, the partials. So let's go ahead and update this message. So let's go hello home. And when I click update message, you're going to see down here in the console log that it's actually tracing through. So message yo, hello home. So then when we go over to here, you can see that it's actually carrying across. We'll say, what about What about it? And then we'll go to experiment, and there it is. So now you can see that it's actually carrying across states, which is pretty convenient. And at the end of the day, we've got a little bit of markup here. And in like 50 lines of code, we totally have a functioning website that you can actually kind of start to do interesting things and extend upon it. So that summarizes everything that I wanted to talk about today. Mark, I hope that answered your question. Don't be embarrassed to say hi to me in public. We're still bros. I still love you. Snoochy boochies. Everyone else, have a great time hacking. It's been totally awesome hanging out with you. I look forward to hanging out with you again. Have a good one.